<laughs> Truth of Dare is a party game where players. Y'all gotta go see them tomorrow. tomorrow. See ya, so see ya, game. So Christy goes first. Well, then why did Christy like a mom, bro? You trying to say they made me smashing his mother? You like your mother? My first time with two girls. Hands on me, and we lock lips. Okay. Then Christy takes my face, and we lock <laughs> lips again. Now my heart's beating fast. Blood stuff flowing through my body. Now I can feel it. I'm break. Two break. I'm ready for the two be one special. Then Christy goes. You ever been with two girls? <laughs> why does Christy almost as if it's his mom? Now I know what you're thinking. Damn. Tim, oh, no, 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 my God. No, Damn, Tim. Come on, come on. Can you shake that? Hey, yo. Open up, Elevator. Yo, why is this man showing his booty cheeks up? Hey, yo. <laughs> Get over here, Daddy. Leave my butt alone, Diddy. Help, help. Leave my butt alone, Diddy is a crazy thing to start the video off. Hey, yo. Help. I don't want to go to the free call. That's ooh, hey yo! There's a couple reasons why kids go to college. First, to get lit, my boy. Okay. Most kids don't go to college for the books. Mm -mm. That has nearly forty percent of students drop out in just the first year. They trying to party. Never been to a college party? Ooh, with some of the best moments of my life. Hey. Uh, na, 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 you get a second chance to lose your V card. That okay. Lost it in high school. See, from experience, I've come to find out most college kids are capping. Majority of them are still virgins. But see, that's, that's crazy. Where college comes in. See, college offers virgins their first time out of their parents' house, where there's no rules, no curfew, no one's breathing over your neck, and you're finally 18. I can't tell you how many times I walked down the dorm hallway and I could hear the squeaky sound vibrating through the wall. My man's cooking. See before leaving. Damn! My man's cooking is insane. <laughs> For college, my mom set me down to get the real. Tim, before you leave, here. Condoms. You better not come back here with no diseases and definitely no babies. See, my mom's older, mature, okay. and wiser. And just like most parents, you know what exactly goes on on college campus. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to my college years. So it's freshman year in college. Now, when you get to college, hey, the first hey, thing hey, that happens hey, is you get assigned hey, to a roommate. Hey, 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 it can make or break your whole college experience. Now, in order to keep everything cool, you need roommate rules. Rule number one, keep the room clean. The worst thing you can have is a messy roommate. So make your bed, throw away your trash, clean your dishes, do anything and everything to keep the spot clean. Rule number two, set the rules for quiet time. As for my roommate and I, quiet time was between midnight and 7 a.m. Any other times, all bets are off. Rule number three, but most importantly, always inform the other person when you have company coming over. Okay. Like this, you need the sock trick. If a sock's on the door, it means do not enter. So I'm right. about to get this. Simple, right? And my roommate and I follow the rules to the T. Now, in my school, freshman dorms were different from the others. See, we had co-ed dorms, meaning both male and females. But here's the thing. Females had to be on one floor and males on the other. Now, right. the rules stated no opposite sex was allowed on each other's floor past 8 p.m. But come on, my God. Who's going to follow that? So one night I was chilling in my dorm. Y'all better do in the daytime. Yo, Twitch, TikTok, YouTube, of course, and Instagram. I have all these platforms and I think you <laughs> to follow them. And all of them are in the beautiful link in the description. Plus, the Discord there too, where we can talk and hang out. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> go follow them and subscribe. And while you at it, like this video. I wasn't joking. Like the video. Please. Please. Um. Get to the door, open it, and it's my girl Christy. Damn, Christy, what you doing here so late? See, your girl Christy was at my door past curfew. Nah, I don't want to get in trouble, but at the same time, shoot, who's gonna say no to the? I know it, boy. So I let Christy in. We get nice and comfortable. Come to find out, Shorty was bored in a little home. Christy had that wagon showing that ass. She looking like. You thought we all shake that bun? <laughs> so remember, penalties were being called with a girl in your room past curfew is crazy. okay. So I'm thinking. It's either <coughs> from the door right. or clap some college cheeks. But then Get the cheeks. Cody goes, can we chill with you? So I'm like, Raggy? Raggy? Sweet. Me and my Romy? Ain't no way. Uh, what? Is Shorty saying what I'm thinking she's saying? Well, no but then way, she goes, boy. I can bring my Romy so he can link up with your Romy. Dang. Okay. Booty! Okay. <laughs> two, one, you feel me? So I'm like, cool. So I get the phone, call up my homie. I wait a few seconds and he's not answering. Come okay. On, kid, don't mess this up for me. I 
I sent him a few more text messages, wait a little longer, still no response. Now I can't tell short of the truth, right? So I go, he said he's on his way. So Christy lives to get a roomie, I get in the shower, freshen up, a few minutes later, Christy pulls Bro, up. Bro, it's fresh up with his angle, it's crazy. Homie think he's ghetto, he might be looking like, hit ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Was bad too. Now I'm over here thinking, God. So I don't know this song. And a friend goes, "Where's your roommate?" Now, I know what this song is? Cool, right? I can't find all this place. So I'm like, But uh, so here's the thing. No students were allowed to have the juice in the dorm. Okay. Toilet. But come on, my guy. Your boy's about to get a dub. So I get to my stash, pour a little drink for the ladies, put on some of that nice love making. Music. Ooh, wait, we got the spot. Jump. I'm Big booty hoes. So okay. Now, this is where things got interesting. <clears throat> See, Christy and the woman wanted to play true be dead. Big oh. booty hoes. Big booty hoes. Gotta get you and you, Big booty hoe. I like buns. You like buns. I don't know what you're saying, hon. <laughs> Truth of Dare is a party game where players. Y'all gotta go to see them tomorrow. See ya. So see ya, game. So Christy goes first. Well, no, why do Chris look like a mom, bro? You trying to say they made me smashing his mother? You like your mother? Uh, oh, dear. Uh, dear. I dare you <coughs> to make out with me. Holy! This can't be real. So we get closer, lick up our lips, and start. Hey, yo. Bobby, I'm talking for old French Chris in my boy. Now it's next, right? So it's Can you mind? You earn it. Okay, you got two shorties, and your room is not coming. There's only one thing to do. So okay. Go, girls, I dare you both to... Hook up with me. Now the room gets quiet. They look at each other, look back at me. Now I'm thinking, uh oh, I'll fumble the bag. Damn, right. Tim, you were so close. But then Shorty goes, What about your roommate? I'm thinking, Yo, W editor. Three, three. Nigga, it's just big me. me. Nigga, bow. I could care less about my roommate. It's about me. So a roommate puts her hands on me and we lock lips, my boy. Then Christy takes my face. We lock lips. Okay. Now my heart's beating fast. Blood stuff flowing through my body. Now I can feel it. I'm brick. Two brick. I'm ready. This man me. Tim is a deviant. The two be one special. Then Christy goes, You ever been with two girls? Holy. <laughs> no. You sure you can handle both of us? Remember, every man's dream. It's me. Okay. Two beautiful girls in my room, and I'm about to clap double cheeks, my boy. Now I'm thinking, I need some getaway. Some hey, what up, Miss Bacon? Oxygen tank. Hey. Ready to get butt ass naked, but then I hear, open up, it's John. Damn. Now John was a school RA. That's the person in charge of enforcing the dorm rules. Remember, it's past curfew. I got two girls in my room, juice in my fridge, and blasting loud music. I can't let homie in, so I'm like, shh, Christy, you can hide. Hide where? The room's too small. Nah, so, bro, no way. He got cock block. He got cock block. He got cock block. The bed's too small. <clears throat> he got cock block. But from the corner of my eye, I see the window. And then he hit me. We we're only on the second floor. Jump out the window, girl. Well, these girls are like, mm -mm. but I'm not playing. I'm dead ass. Either you jump out the window or we getting expelled. Open up. Okay, fine. So I finally get to the door, open it. John looks in and he's like, why is the music okay. too loud? None, just chilling. You ain't here by yourself. Come on, don't find him. So John looks closer, makes sure no one else was in the room and goes, keep the music low, freshy. So he leaves the room. Damn, and keep the music low, freshy. Thank God I dug getting caught in 8K. But at the same time, I missed out on the biggest opportunity of my life. Bro got cock block and didn't get his cheeks. Ow! Like Ow! only missed 100% of the shots you don't take. Bro took the meanest L of his life. That is a devastating L, buddy. For him, at least. For him, that's an L. That's a huge L for Buddy. 